Hello and welcome to another episode of GoTo Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at another premium cooler from Noctua, the NH-U12S. The Noctua NH-U12S is a slim single tower cooler coupled with an NF-F12 PWM fan and designed to fit in most mid-tower cases. It measures at 158 by 125 by 71 millimeters with the fan attached. This allows for maximum memory compatibility as the cooler doesn't overhang the RAM slots. Its profile is small enough to not interfere with the first PCIe slot as well. The base and five heat pipes are copper with nickel plating allowing for optimal heat transfer and gives it a premium look and feel. The aluminum fin stack is designed for maximum surface area and airflow making it easy to remove heat effectively. I personally appreciate the thicker design of the fin so that they do not bend easily during installation. It's not fun finding incidental bent pins after installing a cooler and that has never been a problem with Noctua coolers. The included NFF12 PWM is rated for 1500 RPM, 54 cubic feet per meter and 22.4 dBA. If you install the included low noise adapter it changes it to 1200 RPM. 43 cubic feet per meter and 18.6 dBA. The test setup includes the Oros Z270 Gaming K7 motherboard, Intel KB Lake Core i5-7600K, and 8GB of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4-3000. We will test each cooler at idle and under load using ADA64 for about 10 minutes. We'll repeat the process overclocking the CPU to 5GHz at 1.39V on vCore. So what does all this mean in actual performance and cooling, and how does it fare against the popular Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO? Well, let's go ahead and test it and find out. So as you can see from the results, the NA212S easily beats the Hyper 212 EVO in terms of cooling and noise. So the Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO is popular for a reason. It is a very budget friendly option and gives great overall cooling performance. However, I feel that the NA212S $20 to $25 premium is well worth it. It gives you better overall build quality, uh, much better performance, and a much quieter noise profile. So overall, the NHU-12S gives excellent performance in a much thinner profile, and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for something a little bit better and nicer than the Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO, and not wanting to get something as, say, Be Quiet's Dark Rock Pro 3 or Noctua's own NHD14 or NHD15 coolers. It kind of fits nicely in between all of those, and kind of gives you the best of all worlds. So anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We got plenty of content coming. And as usual, thanks for watching and we will catch you next week.